microfono. Sì. Qua dovrebbe essere aperto. Proviamo a sentire se qualcuno ci Allo. sente. Allo. Riuscite a sentirci? Est-ce que vous nous entendez, Esteban? Est-ce qu'on est, qu est, qu est. Allo? Credo che no. Est-ce qu'on m'entend? Est-ce qu'on est entendu? Allo? Yeah, can we share on the yeah, like, we okay. have. Is there was. What is? There is. Est-ce qu'on nous entend ici? What is? Je sais pas comment. Ah, l'avevo trovato prima. Dove? Ma non lo so, sai, perché io avevo trovato prima questo, trasmetti, ufficio. Tu, tu, tu c'è il... Sì, eccolo qua. Eccolo qua. Okay. Bene. Parla ma non so, qui. sì, ma non so se loro ci sentono. Non so mm. se qualcuno ci sta sentendo. No, però vedi, condivide questo, ma non condivide l'immagine che ci vado sopra. Vous entendez, Esteban? Est-ce que vous entendez, Esteban? Attiva la condivisione. Ok. Condividi. Esteban, est-ce que vous entendez? Trasmette. Ufficio. E non capisco perché non condivide lo schermo. Ruedì, on vous a... Ruedì, on vous a... Vous nous entendez, donc tout va bien. Ok. Tout va bien. Je te le remets sur l'écran comme tout à l'heure. Si, 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 c'est fait. I don't know. Non, mais It is your. Parce que sinon, personne ne voit. You bien. have to shut your... I have this. I have ah. this. But there is the yours. Over. Ok. I, dis I disconnect and there is the yours. You have to disconnect. Okay, you have to disconnect. Okay, it is okay. Now it's going. We try another time. Ah, a chi è buono? Io non capisco come non, non condivido questa. Boh. Per me è condiviso. Facciamo da... No, aspetta. E quelli a casa? Quelli a casa come fanno? <ride> eh, proviamo a vedere se... Credo di sì. Ah, il terzo. Terzo. Sì. Non capisco come... Ok. Uh, tu peux... non non così no è questa quindi questa va bene interrompi sì. ok ma I don't know because it doesn't ah, you say when I when I change the it doesn't change yeah, yeah. No, è andato è andato ah, lei posso No, ma questo lo sta trasmettendo, vedi, sta trasmettendo questo, ma se io provo a fargli cambiare la finestra, non tra cioè trasmette solamente quella lì. Io gli ho detto di, di condividere. Oh, Susanna, Susanna, sì? mi sto inviando Alessandro. Ah, grazie, sì, è arrivato Alessandro. Alessandro, questa volta avevo fatto un pezzo, ma il secondo no, nel senso che sta condividendo questo, schermo, sì. ma non, cioè non riesco a farli condividere quest'altra finestra. Ah, ma devi presentarlo tra, tramite GIF? Madonna mia. Ragione. Non perché così ragione, lo presenti solo ragione, tra te stessa, in realtà. Devi condividerlo. Che tanto. sciocca. Scusa, aspetta, già che sei arrivato facciamo... Eh, sì, posso, facciamo... Ma sarà... Allora... No, è condiviso, vedi, attiva condivisione non schermo. Voglio. Però solo la finestra, tutto lo schermo. Schermo intero. Schermo intero. Selezionalo. Selezionalo. Condividi. Condividi. Vediamo un po' cosa succede. Non lo condivide. Ma l'abbiamo fatto prima? 
non riesco a capire cosa sia ecco mi sento meno scema mm. se non ti riesce no magari devi solo spegnere e riaccendere cioè, proviamo non io. è il computer ma ok proviamo a scegliere ok, okay. ma anche fare... secondo me
so, tu, uh, tu peux éteindre quoi, quoi okay. Solamente une, une piccola présentation de Jacques Ferrier, qui est un grand architecte de Paris, a fait le pavillon français à, à Shanghai, a fait beaucoup de choses très importantes. Et sempre, et ça est un peu plus exceptionnel, est un architecte qui si metta in, uh, in, in questione che uh, is able to, to not only uh, construct on his uh, success but also to uh, um, think about what the new situations are and all this and this is why uh, at all we, we discuss often and uh, also because you we invite you here And I think you, you just mentioned it, that uh, this uh, topic of uh, uh, not uh, don't sapere uh, was a part of your summer. Yes. So you, you think a lot, I think, about this concept. And I'm very happy you can explain this element now. And I thank you, Rudy, for this invitation and also for... Uh, yeah. uh, on va mettre le micro de ce côté. Oh, okay. E cos'era?
recording is on. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Great, you did it. C'est bon. <laughs> Don't touch anything. <laughs> Because the the knowledge, all this knowledge was. Il y a deux micros. All this knowledge was replaced.
publishing. publishing. I don't know what it is, but. Don't hear nothing. Now try to talk. Yeah. You you heard now? Esteban, did you hear? Esteban, it's better now? Okay. It's better? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, so Okay. And obviously, this in the bedroom, the bedroom is designed around the bed, the bathroom around the, the shower and the tube. So you can't at all be someone, I mean, participating to your own flat. You became just like a, a mouse in mm. your labyrinth. You are just, uh, again, deprived from the knowledge of what is a flat what is housing, how you can uh, use it. This is a very good example of a friend of mine, a Hong Kong architect, Gary Chang. And this is a 36 square meter flat with all the function, you know. Uh, but it also can be seen like uh, Jacques Tati playtime. That means that you are put in a cubicle and that you are just the guy just uh, with a function. And as architects, we have to take responsibility because at the, at the turn of a century, between the 19th and the 20th century, in fact, the architects made an aesthetics and an ideology of this idea of technology and of function. So it was not just something coming from uh, the powerness of the industrial world, of the capitalistic world, but it was also something which was turned into a culture by the architect for many positive reasons, obviously, but I just focus on the problems, not of the way of a lot of people to house, uh, cities to rebuild after the war, etc. But uh, Le Corbusier, I just make the quote of Le Corbusier when he say that the house has to be a machine habitée. Mm -hmm. So the house has to be like a machine because he compared the architecture in 1920 with the plain industry. And the picture just show the perfect object, the A320 plane. So it's a perfect, for Le Corbusier would be perfect, but we want to live in this type of space. So we see the difference between a technical, perfect technical environment and a genius Loki, a space to live. Metropolis is another reference because also there is this idea that people also, uh, the city is also a matter of controlling the time and the uh, different. And then it came to this idea of making the repetition something uh, acceptable, mm. something that you, so acceptable, that you can agree with, which was not uh, the case. I mean, you would have shown this at the beginning of the 20th century, just something horrific. Oh, huh? so okay, now this is a... Uh, so, so contrary of the concept of modernity was... Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't lallen, huh? nicht lallen. Uh, Lalem, don't repeat. Yeah, yeah. Right. this was. Uh, yes, don't repeat. Yeah. The art, yes, the art, don't repeat. And then, and so you had this knowledge of using the place, using the style, etc., to make things singular. Very often in the same family, maybe, but singular. And then come the time, and this is supposed to be a very good architect at the good building, is uh, Dubuisson à Montparnasse, a very good photograph, Gursky. But you see the point of this idea of uh, repetition, uh, the American way 
with uh, a lot of uh, consuming uh, a lot of uh, uh, site so you lose all this knowledge you see a traditional african site on the right on the left is uh, here in paris is recycling so the gesture the know-how so when you do repetition that means that the link are done in an industrial way so you lose the know-how so you lose the knowledge of a contractor and of all the, the guys uh, doing it on site so this will be also a long discussion about this that means that when people doing our own environment and our building they don't even see what they are doing because everything is prefabricated everything is done very quickly etc there is a huge problem also of knowledge and implication and uh, no knowledge and obviously is related to this idea of uh, consumption uh, mass consumption and about frugality uh, and again maybe this is an optimistic way to to see how we are going to go out from this idea of repetition is because again uh, uh, the crisis with people buying uh, to compensate the uniformity of what we build they think like with IKEA that buying objects is going to make something special but mm -hmm. everyone has the same special impact <laughs> and as uh, or also it's create problem because when you build so many cars we know the problem too and we know also uh, that uh, as it was said by Mark Donado that today it's easier to produce an object but than to get rid of it so the the knowledge of production has created no knowledge of what happened after so again this is to change to what probably the right time to have this discussion mm -hmm. about knowledge and no knowledge because to have again the knowledge of uh, the waste will probably inform uh, the knowledge of producing uh, producing uh, object i was uh, amazed uh, when i uh, was written a book i will show you uh, about the technology but there are study now scientific study showing that with a gps that's the first time since 200,000 years, since Homo sapiens, that Homo sapiens doesn't need anymore to find his own way, his orientation, which was the first condition to survive. Say, in which way to run when the, not the dinosaurus, but the wild beast is in this direction, which way to run, etc., or how to join the tribe, etc. So they explained that it was the first really the first sons to survive and it corresponds to a part in the brain which is already reducing mm -hmm. physically is reducing and more frightening this article uh, in science or nature I don't know this article says that this part of the brain is in fact linked to memories that means that the fact that we don't need to orientate ourselves anymore maybe is going to create problem with memories like alzheimer etc yes, yes, yes. so why why because the cities the cities they were requiring a knowledge the knowledge that how to use the city when now the city are so complex and so big but this knowledge has been transferred to our smartphone uh, and that we have we have we have uh, shifted this knowledge to a machine it is not a knowledge that we 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 exert ourselves so it's a very this when you see this uh, type of uh, infrastructure obviously that means that you say that your knowledge of orientation if you are on this uh, and their way is useless it's useless it's too complicated so that means that it's not only to say get rid of a gps but if you get rid of a gps that means that this type of space you can't use them anymore that means that to to say i want to have again this knowledge of 
making myself my own route, etc., is going to modify the way that you are going to project the city. And on the other hand, the specificity, the specificity of a city and architecture is that once it's built, this uh, mm -hmm. this thing that is uh, it's not in China, this one I think is in the States, okay. but this will this, this thing is going to be there for 50 years. So it's a huge responsibility because once it's built, that means that it uh, it stops you of changing things about mm -hmm. this uh, topic for a long uh, for a long time. So it's quite uh, important. And then you don't live anymore in a city in terms of humanistic way, but you live more and more in an infrastructure. Mm -hmm. And that uh, explain also what uh, uh, Jean Pierre wa was saying about the importance of. Uh, thinking twice and having people together before doing something, because once it's once it's built, if it's built like this, like an infrastructure, it's something which is going to embody for years and years the the thinking of one time. And uh, last but not least, there are huge consequences of this on the collective life of public life so what is the reason i mean as an architect i always say that the the reason i am an architect is not to design a funny facade or beautiful object is really to say that we are here to encourage and to allow people to be together physically together my uh, associate my partner pauline marchetti has done a movie like, on that on the body and the city because we, we talk about this this morning, to the, the body as a way to have a relationship uh, with the others. We have a research lab in the office which is called Sensual City, the thing that uh, we developed uh, for Shanghai, this idea of senses. So it's very important to realize that collective life is at stake when you see uh, that the knowledge of technology is... Uh, is the, <coughs> the most powerful one, and obviously the new infrastructure is the digital one that separates people, which means that if we don't have any, again, competence of how we use the city, at the very end of the day, we are just objects mm. uh, of the city and no more people doing the city. So we are, in fact, like in this machine that you see, we are just uh, moved all day long. Uh, we are saying that this is your bathroom, this is the living room, this is the office, this is the computer, and between these there is a metro and the infrastructure. So it's, uh, if you are pessimistic, it's a bit like a Welbeck vision of, of a city where, in fact, is no more a community but it's just a lot of people separated, put together in a big machine to make it work. But that's a pessimistic uh, uh, view. And also, oh, it's not only about public life, but it's also about freedom. Because when you see so many machines around you, and so many cameras, and so many control, and so many things to, to do, uh, you see to, to badge, etc. You see that I don't think about the way that I don't care at, at maybe at the, about the being, being filmed, etc. But it's this way of conditioning all these gestures to be always uh, confront to, uh, to, to machine, to shaking point, etc. That in terms of, uh, I will say now, of uh, unconsciousness, you see, I am just an object manipulated, and I don't have uh, the freedom. I was recently reading uh, Jean Giono novels. So seeing, so it's about the 1930s in uh, around the, in South of France, around Manos, and seeing this relationship with time, with a road, with a, with the seasons, etc. And you see that. At one time, it was a very poor life, but it was full of freedom, full of initiative, 
full of uh, encounters, mm. Inter interaction, interaction. Act active well, interaction here all these images, which are just images we yeah. all uh, share during our, uh, our day, are no interaction and no, no, yes, no freedom. So that that's why this uh, huge knowledge that we have accumulated in technology applied to city and architecture is now, I think, a, a limit, a limit which has been shown during the COVID, the corona, corona crisis, a limit which is shown every day with the climate crisis. Mm. And that's something that we have to challenge. And as it was said uh, this morning, we have to decrease. I, I again, I want to bring with François Julien, this philosopher I was talking about this morning when he said, if we say we are going to change everything, nothing moves. But if we just make what you call a decoincidence, just some, if we say we need technology, but we are going to say to technology what to do and not the other way around, because it's impossible to, to make a city of 10 million inhabitants work without technology. But the way is that we have to take command again. And we, the inhabitants, have to have enough knowledge to be part of a decision. Mm -hmm. That will be um, mm -hmm. my, my point about uh, the city and architecture in, in this moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's sorry a, for being... No, 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 absolutely <laughs> not. Uh, I think it's a, it's a great uh, intervention and a very important in, intervention. Uh, and I read your book, who was a little bit the, the, the premise, <laughs> the premise of uh, of all this uh, element. I, I, I think it's, and we we start to see what what I, I try probably as as first uh, to to ask you because you go a little bit quick about this. Uh, in digital infrastructure mm. and I, I think it's the digital infrastructure is one step more as the uh, in technical infrastructure we really see now how this digital uh, take us not only in a space with uh, but in a time also exactly. uh, who all the actions are connected with uh, this uh, O2 or one uh, or one system and when you don't enter in this you are out of the society exactly. and uh, this is that's true or true uh, and out of the city at not, least out of the city uh, and of the city and then of a society uh, of the south so, society so it's i i think they capped more as a city with digital uh the digital was a construction of a part of the of the human and the digital uh, now you, you can go out of uh, of everywhere if you are not connected you you are uh, you, you you cannot functioning with all the element huh? so it's it's very i think it's harder as as industrial uh, technical uh, events huh? it's a big change because uh, the technology the, the step before the technology was uh, taking people uh, as a group, if you take a, a tube, a metro, mm -hmm. so you are in the same, uh, even if you have a sort of uh, lack of initiative and freedom, but it's a group. With a digital, I would say, it's not the control of a group or a series of group during the day, but it's a control days and night of, of one just person. one person. Uh, of each of person. one person. Yeah. And with this, this idea of an arena between public and uh, private and intimacy is completely abolished, mm. which is mm. the beginning of something very mm. uh, frightening uh, sure, uh, in sure. this way. Because, as you say, uh, you are never alone, but always alone. And you are, uh, it's interesting what you say, because I, I didn't talk about this, but uh, it's a very good idea. Say that, in fact, you are always in the city. If you are connected but you are never in the city mm -hmm. because it's it's not really your body interfering with, uh, with other people yeah. and just to to the 5g 5g uh, infrastructure 
to show that it depends about not rationality but ideology, nobody can say for every for every man what is going to be the benefit of the use of the 5G. Maybe you say, okay, having in a big hospital the 5G, okay, why not? Because mm. it's uh, inside, uh, I don't know, an airport maybe. But for us, there are no reason mm. given that the 5G is something better. But when... But it will be interesting to, to know if the new generation uh, <laughs> don't... Uh, Say that uh, speak of all persons. <laughs> <laughs> but just to finish about this, when 5G was uh, challenged in France by people saying, uh, you know, President Macron say, if you are against it, go back to the oil lamp. Uh, yeah. Just to make the point <laughs> that it's about uh, ideology. He doesn't say, uh, no, it's going to be useful. He say, no. It's something is like a, a religion. If you, if you are against, go to the oil lamp. So that and this, this is, I, I think this is a very important point because this is every time in the modernity, it was a point of sacralization, so new one, and desacralization, what, what all that. Exactly. And this really bring this effect of going uh more and more in this uh, technology way and so is this this the de sacralization yeah of of uh, everything who are not absolutely on the top of the technology mm -hmm. and uh mm -hmm. that's i think also a challenge of representation to say perhaps just in the moment we have a hope to uh change. To, to change this element and to say Perhaps it's possible that uh, other way of li live or other way of yeah, she can happen who is out of this. But it's one topic who never you can bring in the press and never you can is uh, the pollution of the digital way. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a no, a no speak. Mm -hmm. uh, huge, yeah. huge pollution. Yeah. 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 Nobody asked, as, am I, as I am young, <laughs> I would like to say one or two things. Um, now it works by itself. It's, uh, well, new technologies doesn't kill people. It's uh, in the abandonment of, uh, of the society. The society is at the service of technology. Uh, contrary, uh, it's the contrary uh, from what we knew before. It's independent. It works. It doesn't need you and an engineer or a person to it by itself. Sometimes when it's taken by political politicians like in China or in Russia or sometimes, sometimes in, uh, in our countries it's, it's in a certain way, it's more even more dangerous. I think. What I think now, I have written it in, uh, in one of the, the last article, I've written on um, to survive because of uh, uh, a newspaper that we uh, organized, that we created some years ago. Uh, in my last article, I say that maybe in my book, but maybe now. As in the following of what you said before, the changing will not come from inside, mm -hmm. it will come from outside. Mm -hmm. And I said in my article that uh, I will begin to go with uh, in the direction of associations, militant, I don't know how you say it. Militants. Militant, militant uh, association. Militant association. Yeah, because <laughs> because we need that as a force against power. Okay. We need that. How do you say that? Counter power. Counter power. Mm -hmm. We need that because uh, if we let it go, uh, go further by itself, there is no control. So we need that people uh, make, uh, make uh, exhibition, make manifestation. Uh, 
Demonstration. Demonstration. No. Demonstration. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Demonstration and so on and so on. I, I'm sure that now we need that to to be able to make it. But uh, it's not again. new. It's not new. We we every time news. Yes, maybe it's <laughs> not new, but it was not at this scale. Yeah. So that's why I say that. We, you know, if there are all, well, there are political debates since a long time, and there, there are many demonstrations about that. But in this way, we are all in the same situation, and uh, I, I believe that only uh, demonstrations and militants uh, can make things evolve. Well, so I am very optimistic because I am sure that we will have demonstrations. Hmm. Oh, sure. I, I think to be anti digital is the same to be anti cars uh, 30 or 40 years ago. So it's, it's impossible. It's impossible uh, in the energy of the modernity. It's, it's quasi impossible. And what interests me, because this is it's possible this is one entrance is a little bit what my peer says this morning and what you uh, explain in this uh, dialectic in between uh, technology and genus uh, perfect perfection technology so this uh, uh, at all the contextual uh, object who is in relation with the corpus and with the head uh, but out of every uh, milieu. Right. She speak about milieu this morning, about uh, uh, what is the system of life with, and surely this element is out of every uh, life element and uh, the life are enemies. Huh? Uh, the only life you accept is uh, the hot dog with, uh, <laughs> in, in, uh, in packet. So, uh, and, and how can we reintegrate the milieu, the context, uh, uh, the situation, the uh, relation? Uh, I, I think it's the only point where you can broke a little bit this isolation of machine, of technology. And uh, Michel Serre started the uh, 70s to say... Easy inspiration. Of yeah, yeah. Of contract. Absolutely. He has contract between nature and humans, uh -huh. and I think that now we have to make a tripartite contract, uh -huh. the Michel Serre contract between nature and humans, but also between technology and humans and nature. Uh -huh. But technology is such a word in itself that you can just get rid of it as a tool, let's say it's a word, and we have, as you say, to dialogue, uh -huh. it's too powerful, so uh -huh. we have to dialogue, but to curb it in the way we want. What is what, what yeah. I say uh, is when, when, what I say is that it will not be naturally done. So um, I believe in the fact that the conflict will be the mean how to make it evolve. It, could, it should be crazy to think that we don't need any technology now. Oh, yeah. but, uh, Nobody uh, says this. Yes, I know that you don't say that. But I mean that, that conflicts will will make it evolve. As we say this morning, there are dynamics, movement, we can, we don't know uh, what will be the, 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 the end, but we know that it can take away. 
I think in your book you, you really explain this very good. At one point the technology has to be in service of yes. and not be autonom of. Yes. And that's, which is the case uh, now. And, and, and I think it's very important too, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Context, we are talking about this technology uh, because uh, you were um, about in the poor. If I think about Madagascar, they use and in Africa, they use a lot of technology in another way that we are used to it. So they transfer money, they are doing little things with the technology and through the technology and, and even the poor. And, the, and for them, it's the, the way to use, uh, like they. Uh, the system in another way. So this, but this is just uh, to say the context is very important. Exactly, yeah. it's very important. It's a way. It's a way to make a shift. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to say that, like the images, I think, are like what, like the overcrowd, like like from this slide to the second, like the the, this one. the next one, for example. Yes. Or so others, but like it make like um, they make me think about child face uh, films, and like there was an exhibition in Maxine last year that opened, and what she uh, she worked between like she worked with films, but like um, yeah, like represented for example that image of the work or the image also of the. Like it's like 30, I think, for this, like the production of, um, on the, on the, yeah, that one on the, on the, on the left. Yeah, on the left. Like this. Uh, it's an Amazon. Connection. It's an Amazon uh, yeah, uh, uh, box. Uh, yeah, uh, warehouse. Uh, warehouse. Uh, uh. Yeah, so because, I mean, one of the films that I saw it was like exactly represented in this, I mean, it represented this context. And I was thinking about this actually connection that technology could give us between fantasy and reality. So I really think that could have a positive kind of way to sure. see that. Like this tension is really interesting, but of course, like it could be it sound really yeah manipulative from the other end, like in between public space or like. Because of course, if we think about the surveillance and all this, like mm -hmm. surveillance, and it's just like, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't want to have that thing in my life. But for the other end, but the white side, it's also like this, like big imagination and like, uh, yeah, and then like, yeah. So just like, yeah, but I, 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 I